So any of you guys who are subscribed to my channel will know that I'm transitioning from Relax to Natural. So right now my hair is half relaxed and half natural. So the struggle of dealing with it is not as bad as it used to be um, since I've cut a lot of it off and a lot of it has grown. But I still do have those two textures. So lately I've just been wearing my hair in just a slick down bun with the heat and the humidity and the maintenance. It's just so much easier to wear it like this. I know it's not good to wear it in a bun all the time. But lately this is just what's been working for me. Um, so because my hair is so thick, in order to do this style, I have to kind of prep my hair the night before. So that just means that I'm going to make sure that my hair is properly detangled the night before so that I can tie it up with a scarf and lay it down. So, I mean, you guys know how that works. So basically, I just use a silk scrunchie. And once I've detangled on my hair, I just kind of put it in like a half bun and I just tie it up with a scarf. So that's what I did. So I just took my hair out of that. As you can see, like it's all bent from the bun, but like I said, my hair is natural to about here. And then the rest you'll see is like straight because this relax. So, so I'm going to use this tangle teaser just to kind of smooth it out um, to make sure there's no kind of bumps or anything in it. So the next thing I'm going to do is take some Simplicity Oil. This is an oil that I've been using for years. Like I don't even know how many times I've repurchased this, but I always put this in my hair. I put it in my hair. Um, after I wash it and I'm moisturizing it, I put it through each section. I always put it through my scalp. Um, I put it on my hairline because it's super light so you never feel like you are weighing your hair down. And it also just if you have any kind of issues with your hair, with your scalp, this is just really going to take care of all of that. So I put some through my scalp. I'm just gonna brush it out a little bit more just to make sure that it's kind of like all massaged into my hair. I'm gonna take a little bit more and just kind of put it through the rest of my hair. Make sure you get underneath. They have a fairly new product out, which I really love because I always kind of make my own water mixture, but this kind of just saves the time of you having to make your own, but it also gives you a lot of benefits to the oil as well. So this is, I guess, just a simplicity refresh and reactivate. So if you do wear your hair like in wash and goes, um, this is really good to just kind of spray your hair like in the morning after you've pineappled it, just to kind of make those curls kind of come back alive. And so this is spray on desired areas, maybe use alone or in conjunction with the show hair products. I also like to use this, um, I'll show you how I use it now, but I also like to use this when I'm detangling my hair in between wash days and it just makes the comb or the brushes glide through your hair really easily. It's moisturizing it, it gives it a nice shine um, and it just, it doesn't weigh your hair down, it's not sticky or oily or anything. So this says a root to tip refresher spritz to instantly hydrate and hydrate the hair strand, softens the hair, aids in detangling, reactivates existing products on the hair strand to prevent buildup and overuse of creams, gels, and leaves in leave-ins. It's a water-based product, so obviously it's not recommended to use it for heat styling. It's not a heat protectant. It's just like an infused water with a lot of really good oils. And down here it kind of lists all the oils. Um, but I'll link um I'll put a link down to where you can find out about this and you do get a lot you get how many ounces is this bottle you get 12 full ounces which is really good so I don't know if I said it's called a refresh it's the show refresh and activate yeah so you do get a lot but I find that it's a little bit difficult I mean not difficult but trying to maneuver this wider bottle with one hand is a little tricky sometimes so I just kind of put it into an easier spray bottle so what I'll do is just kind of spray my hair down especially my edges just to kind of moisturize it a little bit which for me just makes it easier to do the bun then I'm gonna just take a orbital brush and just kind of make sure that I brush that through my hair. So next I'm going to just take this really extra large rubber band I'm going to put it into, which just saves time on wrapping it up. I'm going to take a little bit of this olive oil eco styler gel. Just to put a little bit of it 
through my bun or through my ponytail before I put in a bun. As far as the bun goes, if you wanted to just kind of leave it like this, you could. Um, if you wanted to put something like a donut in it, like if you just want to make your hair look a little bit thicker, there's two different sizes. I use these sometimes, but for today I'm just going to do just a simple bun. Or you could do something um, like this, which I just take, I'll show you guys the package. I just have some extra braiding here. Um, Silky Jumbo Braid 100% Kanekalon in 1B, and this is by African Beauty Collection. I just take a pack of that that I've already washed and cleaned. You can braid this or you can twist it. I had just split mine in the middle, put a rubber band, split it in the middle, twisted it, put some rubber bands on the end too, and then you can just twist that around your hair. If that's um, something that you guys want me to do a tutorial on using either one of these, let me know and I will totally do that for you guys. But for today, I'm just going to keep it really simple and just do a bun with my own hair. If you wanted to, you could just be done with it like this, but my hair, I don't know if you guys can see, because of the different textures, and I guess my curls are just the kind, of, the kind that spring back up, I need to go ahead and use some gel. So the two gels that I've, well there's three, but I'll start with two. The two gels that I've been really loving lately, um, this first one is the Eden Body Works Control Glaze Edge Gel, and this is Firm Hole, you get six ounces. And it smells really, really good. So basically, I just take this brush from Evolve. Um, I really love this to get my gel because it has like that pointed edge and it just makes it so much easier to get out the gel and put it on your hair. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm just going to scoop some out. Yes, it's going to look like a lot of product in my hair. And yes, it may be a lot of product, but this is just what I need to do to get my hair to stay like some of you guys may not have to use as much product but for me in order to get that like sleek look that's going to just last through the humidity i need to put a lot of product but it doesn't weigh my hair down it doesn't feel greasy i don't get any build up so it works really well So now that my hair is just looking crazy with all this gel on it, I'm going to go back in with this brush and I'm just going to totally brush it through my hair. So I'm going to go back in with just a little bit on my fingers and just kind of put it in my hand just to kind of get that back area that I didn't get. It says you can, as, as you can see, and as you can see, I feel like this gel works really good. It just kind of like smooths it down. It makes it really shiny. It just kind of brings out the waves, which I really like. So next I'm gonna go back in with some more Eco Styler gel. And I'm gonna just kind of put that on my edges first just to further lay them down because my edges do like to curl right back up once I get outside and then I'm gonna take some more and just kind of put that in my hands and smooth that throughout my hair so what this does for me is it just kind of locks in whatever gel I just put in it just kind of like sets it so I'm gonna brush through that one more time just to make sure that it's all blended and I don't have any like chunks of gel sitting on my hair so that's it for the products um, if you just really really wanted to super lock your hair in or just lock your edges in you can also go in with a little bit of Gorilla Glue right Gorilla Punk isn't it called Gorilla Glue Gorilla Snot Gel. Why did I think Gorilla Glue? I don't know. Gorilla Snot Gel. Um, go in with a little bit of this. And the one I have is a 10 on the whole meter. 
um yeah and just put that through your edges or you can put it throughout the whole hair if you want but put it through your edges and then that'll really lock it in so next thing i'm going to do is just kind of bring down a little bit of baby's hair baby hairs i'm not going to do like full out like super gel down baby hairs or anything i'm just going to do a little bit I like to pull down a little bit at the sides. I don't know why. I just kind of like how that looks. So that's basically it. This is what I've just been doing lately. Um, one, I guess, key step to me. So even though it looks really gelled down, I can kind of see my curls popping back up. So what I'll do is go in, normally I would do my hair before I do my makeup. So while I'm doing my makeup, I will just have my hair wrapped up in a scarf so that my hair can kind of further set and just be flattened out and lay down even more. And then that would be it. And then when I'm done with my makeup, I will just take it down and it will be nice and slick and neat. So, um, yeah, normally, like I said, I would lay down for much longer. But so basically, that's it. I mean, it's super simple, super easy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hopefully you'll give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. If you guys are interested in this makeup look that I'm wearing right now, um, I did do a tutorial on it. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you know when I post that video. And I guess that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment box below. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.